Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, Plone Conference, and welcome to day two of the talks, day four of the conference. So if you didn't know, there were two days of tutorials before. There are a couple days of sprints here also coming up at the tail end of the conference. So it's not over just this week. We have got an amazing lineup of talks today and coming up also for Wednesday, Thursday, and then Friday will be a lot of open spaces. So make sure you sign up for those open spaces. Speaking of signing up, there are lightning talks each day and you all are welcome to give a five minute quick talk on something that is cool, neat, unique, interesting, not interesting, want to teach somebody something. That is a great way to start off your speaking career in the Plone community or any other open source uh, software community is to do a lightning talk. Uh, I will be signing up today. I'm going to try and give a lightning talk on using PyM because that's a cool technology that we have really adopted over here. So get, sign up now, give a lightning talk. Uh, there'll be lightning talks each day during the conference uh, right at the end. Uh, other quick announcements uh, about the conference. We've got the social coming up on Thursday evening, so don't miss that. So uh, right after the lightning talks, uh, later we'll be doing the social. We have a group photo also Thursday. You do not want to miss the group photo. We're going to get everybody to turn their cameras on, uh, throw the zooms up, and we're going to screenshot all those and give us our traditional Plone Conference group photo. So if you saw some of the photos from Chrissy's talk yesterday about the community, uh, she showed off some awesome group photos over the years, and it really uh, nearly brought a tear to my eye uh, listening to Chrissy talk about community. Actually, it's a funny thing. I was I was running this morning thinking about Plone Conference and giving the opening remarks in the community and had to reach way back. Uh, my first experience with Zope was in Y2K. So year 2000, I was sitting next to a guy at a new company I had just started, and he told me there was a Python-based application server called Zope. And I thought in my head, I don't know what half those words mean, but I'm gonna check it out. And that is what started me on my journey to where we are today, uh, running a company that does Zope and Plone and Cloud and Python, thinking about how where Python even has come, being number one on the Tyobi index now, you all are in a great place and all the wonderful people of the community who I've met along the way and all the new people who are here today in the community. Speaking of that, make sure you reach out and meet some new folks in the hallway track, ask questions in Slack. Each of the tracks has a dedicated Slack channel. Make sure you interact in there. There's great ways to, uh, to ask questions and, and be, you know, be engaged in the talks. After each talk, don't miss out on the um, talk to this face-to-face -face with the speaker. If you're on the Loudswarm page for the talk, you'll see the Slido questions on the, the right side of the page. You'll see the Slack integration over there too. But if you scroll down just a touch, as soon as the speaker is done, they're gonna go into that Jitsi room where you can actually gather around the virtual podium and chat with the speakers and ask them any questions you didn't wanna ask in chat or maybe get them to cover something they didn't cover during the talk. I uh, also wanna update everyone. We have 263 registrations across nine, 39 countries. Uh, this community is uh, still growing, still vibrant, still bright. I love it. Uh, I, it's just amazing to think of a, a 20 year old web framework that is still modern and relevant today. I love where things are going. Uh, don't miss the keynote right after this opening remarks. We're gonna be talking about Plone 6. Uh, I'm just super excited that we've you know, been able to modernize Plone to a, a framework you know, using all the latest technologies. It just warms my heart to think of this community and all the work that's gone into it. You all are here and you all are in the right place. A couple last reminders. Uh, there will be, again, open spaces on Friday, the lightning talks after each day. Uh, there is a code of conduct in place. So if you will go to 2021.flownconf.org, you can read the code of conduct, make sure that while you're here, you are a good citizen of the Plone and Python community. And that applies to not just the Slack and not just uh, the Jitsis, but you know Twitter and anything, any interactions you're having with our community. We want to make sure that they are um, all good experiences for everyone involved. Uh, that all being said, uh, I think I will turn it back over. Have a great day. Make sure you engage with the people. Take a selfie and post it in the hallway track. That's a great way for people to see you, even if you're virtually, and you to see others who are doing their thing wherever they are in the world. Uh, I'm a little bit jealous of the folks at the uh, Plone Fan Zone in Sorrento. Wish I was there with you guys, uh, you all, uh, because that looks like a lot of fun. Hopefully next year, Plone Conference can be in person, but if not, I'll be here again. Whoa, 
one last reminder during Chrissy's keynote, she mentioned posting on to Twitter with the hashtag plone memories. Uh, I will be posting on Twitter with some plone memories. Make sure you do the same. Uh, I think that's a lot of fun. I've got a photo coming up uh, right after this talk about the 2010 PyCon Plone booth. There's some good good people in that that uh, that picture, and there's a just great way for us to kind of reminisce and then also bring new people into all of our lore of Plone. Thank you all very much, and I'll see you all online.